everybody. Welcome to When Reality Hits with Jackson Brittany. Hey, everybody. A lot to talk about yes. today. A lot. First of all, I don't know if you guys saw, but the new show was finally announced. It's out. Yes. And we're so excited. You guys are going to love the new cast members that you don't know yet. You'll fall in love with them. They're amazing people. We got to actually pick who we wanted to be on the the show with us. And I thought that was like absolutely amazing because what made Vanderpump Rules so good was the fact that everybody was real friends, just like our cast. Again, so, that, that is one of the main reasons, uh, you know, one of the main reasons why I was excited about doing this because when I went, was approached with the show, well, I was approached, I actually came up with this idea, believe it or not, <laughs> a couple of years ago, uh, you know, when everything was going on with COVID, I'll just kind of get into a little bit how this yeah. all started. So a couple of years ago, uh, I called uh, one of the producers, uh, Alex from Baskin. Alex Baskin, <laughs> and I said, "Hey, will you meet me at a hotel? I have an idea." So we met at this hotel. It was a cold, rainy night again two years ago. And I said, "Hey, Alex, listen, I I think I'm ready to come back to TV. I think it's time. I think I've had enough time off. Um, I'm just there's a lot going on with Brittany and I's life, and I think there's a lot to, to be told. I think there's a lot of story there. People want to know what's going on. We kind of ended everything on Vanderpump when our wedding ended, and there's just everybody wants to know what's going on. So I go, "What do you think? What do you think? Do you think it's a good time for us?" To make a comeback. And he goes, I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great idea. And Let- it was, and it is, and it's going to be epic. You yeah. guys are going to love it. Mind you, I had this idea two years ago. So this is how long it takes for a show to be in the works. Yeah. It takes a very, very long time. And people always say, doesn't this happen really fast? No, it doesn't. You have to have the idea. Then it has to go back to the network. Then the network has to talk about it to other networks. It just, it's a very, it's a very crazy machine. Yeah. But I tell you what. It's finally here. <laughs> and you know what? I just loved the promo that we did. It was the cutest thing I've ever seen. I think it's the best promo to ever come out of Bravo, if I say so myself. Like can we, it was Can we so give them a little behind the good. scenes? Oh yeah. Let me tell you. Guys. Okay. <laughs> so I'm so excited about this because I'm sorry, I'm not cutting you off, but I'm just super excited about this because I grew up going to Universal Studios as a young child. <laughs> yeah. And okay, I'll let you go. Yeah. You okay. Can tell. So I'm sorry. I'm, I was just really excited. So when we did this promo, uh, Brittany and I really didn't know where we were going till very the last minute. We had, knew we had a car picking us up. We knew we were going to the studios. But when we get, went to Universal Studios, I mean, Universal Studios is an iconic place. Yeah. I went there growing up. I was literally filming that promo. Now, I know you can't tell a lot of it because there's a lot of green screen going on, but I was filming the promo right next to the Jaws event. Like, like were right we on the street? Well, it was a whole. We were was on no the, green screen. It we, was an actual street. We were on the street. There well, wasn't a green screen at the, all. The, the houses going by are yeah. not exactly our houses. Those are suburb houses. Now, when I'm on the when I'm on the car, those are our houses. So you can tell it's a little bit of a different. Anyway, so the street that we filmed on was <laughs> night where they filmed Nightmare on Elm Street, the yeah. actual the original movie Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, we were one fake street away from the Desperate Housewives street too, which I thought was awesome. Yes, so we were in between. <laughs> Jaws, and we were in between Nightmare on Elm Street. We were filming on Nightmare on Elm Street, and then the street over was Desperate Housewives, where they filmed that. So yeah. just to give you an idea of how cool it was and how much faith they have in us on this show, that they're like putting us at Universal Studios for yes. our promo. And the trams were going by, and people could like see us oh, filming yeah. down there. It was really it cool. It was the coolest thing when the trams go by, and they're like all waving, and they're like, oh my God, Jackson, Brittany, Jackson, well, Let, let me tell so cool. my thing. So we had we were filming like all day. We started going at like 7 a.m. or something. So we've been doing like photo shoots and different things all day at the studios. Well, I had that one line that everybody has seen by now on the promo where I was like, Jax, stop messing around and go mow the yard. Well, everybody was staring at me. And whenever I say everybody, there was like a hundred people on set watching you do these things. And I'm not an actor by any means, but whenever I did it, I kept my, my line was supposed to be, uh, Jax, hurry up and go mow the lawn. And for some reason, I don't know why, I guess because the pressure of people staring at me, I said four times in a row, Jax, <laughs> what did I say? Jax, stop messing around and go uh, mow the yawn. <laughs> So I, you, Hi, I'm sorry. So Cruz, I said, Cruz is joining us today. Cruz is joining us. So I said, go mow the yawn four times, <laughs> four times in a freaking row. I was so embarrassed. So they finally were like, do you just want to say yard? And I was like, I was like, please, can I just say yard? She had For the giggles. For some reason, I had the giggles and I could not get the word lawn out. I don't know what happened to And me. mind you, behind the scenes, there was probably about... A hundred people staring at me. Oh, so behind the scenes, I know you guys don't can't see this because on, obviously, the clip, you don't know what's going on behind the camera. So there was about, what, hundred people? Yeah. 
maybe more, <laughs> like just for all of us. And it was just, again, getting back to the original part, the fact that they have so much faith in this whole project yes. and they put it so much time and money and it just was like, I can't, I couldn't believe it. It was yeah. just better than anything I've ever done, yeah. even on the Vanderpump days. Yes, it was like the coolest shoot ever. And we're so grateful and I just can't wait for everybody to see it and get to know all the rest of the cast members. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And we have heard... So many times that the show is epic, so I cannot wait till it comes out. It is epic. And by the way, guys, give these new cast members a chance. Yes. I know you all are like, who are these randos? Whatever, whatever. They these are, are our actual friends. friends. They yes. are our actual friends, just like Vanderpump Rules. Nobody was casted on this show. Yep. These are people that we have in our lives on a daily basis. Exactly. And I feel like that is the only way to do a reality show. Yep. I think and that's the only amazing. way it works is if you have true friends in your group because just casting people and saying, okay, Bobby, I need you to make out with this person. Yeah. Susie, I need yeah. you to do this. It doesn't, work. it doesn't work. And I will say, I'm not going to do too many teasers because I don't want to get in trouble, but um, there are definitely people from Vanderpump that will be stopping by on our show as well and vice versa. So yeah, and there's also, awesome. there's actually not just Vanderpump. There's actually a, a couple other people that weren't in the teaser that are on the show as well. So um, not everybody... Uh, you know, that's going to be on the show was in the teaser. So yeah, keep that Jasmine in mind as well. And Jasmine and Zach are also part of it. And yes. Yeah. So there'll be more things coming out. There'll be an actual trailer. I mean, I just can't wait. We, Of course, we already filmed it months ago, but we are just so excited and so grateful. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. When Reality Hits is brought to you by Vegamore. Thanks to Vegamore, sticking to your hair routine has never been easier. You fall in love with their Grow Hair Serum. Vegamore products are 100% cruelty-free and are never formulated with potentially harmful chemicals like parabens or hormones. Vegamore is absolutely amazing. It works great. After I had Cruz, I lost a little hair around my face. So whenever I use the Grow Hair Serum, it really helped with any of the postpartum hair loss that I had and this stuff is amazing. My mom actually loves it. It has helped her a lot too after she was sick. So fun fact, Vegamore sells one bottle of Grow Hair Serum every 15 seconds on their website. That's how good this stuff is. Elevate your hair wellness routine this year with Vegamore. For a limited time, get 20% off your first subscription order by going to vegamore.com slash reality hits and use code reality hits at checkout. That's V-E-G-A-M-O-U-R dot com slash reality hits code reality hits to save 20 percent on your first order v-e-g-a-m-o-u-r dot com slash reality hits code reality hits if your kid has a device, they need Express VPN. Every device, phones, computers, tablets, has a unique IP address, which reveals personal information about you. And it's super easy for a stranger to find your online information. Express VPN is an app that hides your real IP address and replaces it with a dummy one, keeping you safe and private. Get with the times, folks. Just download the Express VPN app on your phone or computer, tap one button to turn it on, and you're protected. And and here's the cool part. They let you choose what country you want your IP address to look like it's coming from. This is super useful because services like Netflix and Disney Plus give you different shows depending on what country you're in. For instance, if you click Australia, you can watch Bluey or Paw Patrol movie. So secure your family's online activity and unlock tons of new shows by visiting expressvpn.com slash jacksbrit. Use my link and you can get three extra months free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S SVPN.com slash Jax Brit. ExpressVPN.com slash Jax Brit to learn more. And that's J A X B R I T. Protect yourself, guys. Okay, so now it is time to introduce our special guest. We have our special guest here, newly 40, my younger sister. Younger, happy. much younger. Happy 40th birthday. Thank you. So you want to tell your story? So you're here. She's in LA with us. Oh, yeah. Can we say her name? <laughs> this is Jenny. Well, Jenny Couchy, Jenny Byrne. Jenny Byrne. Jenny, Jenny Byrne. Yep. <laughs> Jax's little sister, who I love and adore. I love you. She's here. She's in Michigan. She brought eight to, I don't even know how many yet, eight to 10 of her friends. Some of them are checking to hotels. Some of them just checked into our house. 
Uh, we're super excited. We got a long weekend. This was planned. all a surprise to me. I had no idea this was going on. And not so. only that, what I also want to thank that everybody came. That's this is our good friends because yeah. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but the Detroit Lions made it to the second round of the playoffs. And as Detroiters, they are diehard football fans, and they decided to leave Michigan to come to LA. So these yeah. are some good yeah. friends. So some of them will be flying, I think, during the game, which I don't <laughs> think they really knew that was going to happen, but. Um, Maybe some of them might change their flights and stay. They should definitely so change their flights out. because my yeah. bar is the best yeah. bar to watch the but game. But you know, at. like we're Michiganders, so we have like jobs and responsibilities, and we have to go to work on Monday. I don't, <laughs> but some of my friends do. So Kristen is so excited to watch the game with all I of know, you guys. I'm so excited. She was about to go to Michigan and try to get tickets for the I actual saw game, that. and I was, I was about like, to like mm, I was her. like, um, Jenny's in town. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> so. I saw that. I was like, I was gonna like message her, and I'm like. Mm. She got she, t- she got Cruz a um a Detroit Lions oh, shirt and everything did. so that we could all watch it up at Jax's. Oh, so we, my bar, Jax's Studio City, has now turned into the official <laughs> bar. the official Detroit Lions watch bar. We're so excited, obviously, for all the fans. Uh, but not only that, Jenny came in town. We are throwing her birthday party at Jax's tomorrow night yeah. at mm-hmm. nine thirty, and this is for the public. This I is found for out everybody. on Instagram. I yeah. was actually at a spa day. I'm usually not on my phone that much because I'm usually at work. And I was like, took myself to the spa. My husband doesn't even know I was there. So, and I'm like in the salt room and I'm looking and I'm like, what the fuck is this? I was like, this is not real. This is not real. No. I'm like, oh my God, here he goes. Spoiling another surprise. I don't think he was supposed to send that to me. And he like put something online. I'm like, uh, so I didn't even call my husband. I called my best friend who also helped put this together. And I was like, Megan, is this real? Is this, was I supposed to know this? Cause I didn't want, if it was a surprise that he spoiled, I didn't want you know, Patrick and, did think he yes, spoiled it. Patrick yeah. did think he spoiled it because, you know, most of my life was a spoil. So <laughs> on that note, we're getting in, <laughs> we'll get into that. We'll in get into that. Yes. Uh, we, yeah. So it was actually planned that we wanted to like post the flyer and you found out that way, which was it, a really cool idea. Yeah. Yeah. That was what Jenny or uh, Patrick and Megan, they were like amazing. That was a great idea. So, um, but yeah, we're so glad you're here. We're going to have so much fun, but I think we need to hear what it was like being Jax Taylor's little sister because J- aka jason Kelchi. because whenever I, it's weird for me to call jacks jacks in front of jenny because she calls him jason so that's the it whole thing for me to say jacks like <laughs> yeah. it's, i just feel like it's, i just can't i either say jay or jason yes which he responds to both so that's good yeah <laughs> <laughs> he responds to all three yes. <laughs> you know what i just remembered i know you're a big podcaster and you love heather mcdonald oh my and God, you I love, love the heather toast McDonald's. i just realized that i forgot to invite heather to your birthday yeah but i did put it on social media for everybody but i'm gonna well, personally call her right after her. this because even my friends would be like starstruck because we have gone and seen her th- courtesy of you we got like vip passes yes. and we met her and hung out with her we'll and have we to, to talk her, to her for sure heather's but awesome she always takes i listen to her podcast and i love that she is on so frequently because i love the morning toast too but they take breaks and stuff too but they're Claudia Ashray who I met before yeah. too she was at our wedding yeah your wedding which was like <laughs> for me a star shot because I live for podcasts I don't even hardly listen to the radio because I don't know any of the new songs and I'm like an 80s fan and 90s. whatever and 90s and my rap girl <laughs> right here hip hop love me some Nelly what <laughs> front row Little Chris uh, Little Wayne Luda. Um, <laughs> this is why me and Jenny yeah, love each other so much maybe even some Busta Rhymes in there <laughs> but um Trick Daddy yeah <laughs> hell yeah we actually had front row seats one time to Nelly, and I thought I was going to die. Oh, my God. Remember how he was oh, like, smiles we had, his, his lips. smile, and I watched him <laughs> dancing with the stars, and I would text Brittany like, oh, my God, you have to watch. You have to watch. Because <laughs> he is just, mm. Anyway, <laughs> that's for another day. <laughs> that's for another day. Um, but, yeah, back to the thing. I just need to know what it was like, because as his wife, he still does well, some yeah. of these things that I can only imagine that you had I to go through. I feel so sorry for you, because we- I can own, like, <laughs> he is one of a kind. Like, And a lot of people don't get our humor and like our inside jokes but luckily Brittany fit into the family quite well <laughs> and can handle him and like his humor and actually laughs at him when he's being like weird dancing or like a stupid inside joke yes. like she gets it and we all like the same thing so it's great um but I also feel very very sorry for her but I'm more than glad to pass the torch on because for how many years of my life like you were 18 probably when you left. So I was for, for like 14, 15, even though I cried when he left, which is like so weird. But <laughs> he bought me like these super cool Adidas snap pants. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm never taking these off. My brother gave them to me, even though he was like freaking <laughs> evil to me my whole entire life. I need to hear some of these evil stories. Yeah. What did he do? And I have to tell you guys, I have a very like soft heart. <laughs> and, like I feel bad for everything. So I do too. He could like be so mean to me and then look at me like and, and after I got him in trouble and then I would feel bad. Like why? Why am I feeling bad? You literally just tortured me and then 
you know, whatever. And when he That's told on Jack's me, for you. Mm-hmm, when he told on me, I was like, why did you tell me? He did not care. He would just laugh, laugh in the corner at me. <laughs> and his relationship is so funny. Oh my God. And like the fact going back to when he, uh, could not keep a secret. He pretty much ruined every important milestone in my life. Oh my God. As far as when I first got my first car, my dad bought me, um, a Beretta just like him. And he, Somehow my brother called me and told me, hey, dad bought you a car. He's in the driveway. I don't think you're going to like it, but oh. it was only $500. Blah, 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 blah. He called Every- you a route and said you're not going to like your car? I wasn't even home. I wasn't even home. Like, literally, Jack. I was going to find out in about 10 minutes. I was probably going to find out. And then he, no, he had to spoil the surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he uh, had a red Beretta. And he, like, you know, you drive same- us around. Yeah, we had the same What's first car. What's a Beretta? Um, it's, it's a, a hoopty, basically. It, it was cool hoop-dee. in his in his grade but me i was like i am so embarrassed there's no air conditioning i worked at abercrombie which so did my brother yeah. and i would i would drive there and be sweating and i would call my dad crying because there's no air conditioning didn't work I'm like, i can't go to work like this because it was like a big deal if you worked at abercrombie yeah, like girl. you had to be asked to work yeah. there that's right yeah that's right mm-hmm. i was the very first shirtless model at abercrombie. yes i remember that one. and then everyone had to ask me is that your brother is that your brother <laughs> uh. no okay. i don't know him how okay as a oh, as the little sister, like how did he, like you said that he would torture you and stuff. Yeah, like, he would torture would he me. Do? He was not the cool older brother that everybody had. <laughs> he would torture me. We would um like when we go to Florida, he would put gum in my hair. I would get in trouble. <laughs> he would make up games called the Vine. He would lay there, have me walk over him, like acting like okay, try to get past this past this uh, quicksand, and then he would scissor chop his legs and drop me on the floor. I thought he wanted to have fun with me, but I think he secretly hated me. <laughs> then he would take all my hair ties and say, let's play this game. And I'm going to like um, shoot my hair ties at you. You need to like dodge them. Then I would get in trouble <laughs> because I lost all my hair ties. So I would get in trouble. He also took my beautiful piggy bank that my grandpa had got me. It looked like um, I loved Lady and the Tramp. It looked like Lady. And he's like, let's get a knife and fork and break it open and see how much is in there. You can keep all the copper ones and I'll take... <laughs> The paper and the and the silver ones because they're not worth anything. So, and then I I literally had to hide it. I remember I had a double closet. I had to hide it in the middle of the closet because if my mom found out that I like cracked this thing, I would get in so much trouble. But he took all the paper money, everything. <laughs> not like, fair. He literally just like lied and said, "Oh, only the pennies are worth money." Yeah, he said the copper ones are worth the money. That's that the ones hilarious. you want. Put them back in there. Hey, copper is worth some money now. Yeah, now. <laughs> I also developed a phobia of spit because my brother was a hockey player and I feel like he always smelled like hockey. I hated going to hockey with him because he had goalie pads and our basement smelled and I have a weird thing with smells too. And he would literally pin me down, drip his loogies down on my, these yellow loogies. Yellow! And he would think he could like Gross. suck them back up and sometimes he did, but most of the time he did it and they would drip these smelly loogies. No! In my face. We said you had a phobia at your people at work. Can you just tell everybody what you do? So I'm a surgical tech. I um, assist doctors in surgeries. And a lot of time you have to intubate people. And when they take it out, I have to turn around because I cannot even fathom the idea of spit because I am like literally gag and everybody at work makes fun of me. And then I tell the story about how my brother did that. And yeah, that's well, one time my neighbor spit on me or mm. not, not like spit on me. I don't, I, I, he wasn't like trying to spit on me. I don't think, but he was like on a balcony oh, <laughs> and it landed on no, my arm and it's, no. and my arm it's, smelled uh, so uh, <laughs> See, see, <laughs> so, oh. you're going to make me gag right now. I have a little mm. weird thing about spit mm. too, like nasty. No. Yeah, it is nasty. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm throwing up in my mouth that you just said your the spit smell. Uh, well, you don't think your sm- smell like roses? Okay, can like, we get no, off this was, topic? Yeah. I did a lot of crazy things that a lot of yeah. brothers he do. told on me for everything i never told on him because he had like scared me he scared me to tell on him but one time he caught me and my girlfriends in the one of my girlfriends in the bathroom and we took one of my mom and mom's cigarette and we smoked it and he came in and he hates cigarettes and i do too now but you know i was yeah. trying it out but then at dinner time like for a week straight he would sing smoking in the boys room and like look at me and just start laughing and like my parents like look and like threaten me like literally ate me alive every day and i no actually so you he was just holding it over no, your head he was holding he it over knew. my head until i confessed that i did it that's what it was you didn't finish you didn't tell on me i confessed like mom i'm sorry i tried cigarettes because my parents threatened us they said if they ever caught us smoking cigarettes they were going to sit us down at the dinner table and make us 
um, smoke a full pack of cigarettes in ew, front of them, ew, one ew. after the other. Oh god, I could never. I don't think I've ever tried a cigarette. Yeah, they're nasty. Ugh, I hate. The I smell. mean, it was cool at one point in oh, life. Yeah, so everybody like, yeah. basically has tried one, but like, I always got nauseous. Around. Yeah, you, this yeah. was in the mid nineties, mid nineties, late nineties. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, this. yeah, yeah, he oh. didn't because he was like, honestly, he was like, I'm not. I'm trying not trying to mean, but you were like a dorkier. Like you, like you were, you were bad. Like you got in a lot of trouble, but you weren't like. I had like a ton of friends, and I like partied. So if I had a party and he came home, he would tell on me. He would literally tell on me. I asked him to buy me beer. No, I'm not doing that for you. But yet, when he was younger, he like would wake me up out of a sleep and say, "Make sure I get out of the driveway, okay." And him and his friend would go to fucking Taco Bell, like. (laughs) And then I had to like open my. I wasn't allowed to drive right away when I was 16. I think yeah. I had to wait six months. So my yeah. parents, I got my permit and everything like that. But my parents had a rule that yeah, you had to had drive with them for six months before we got a license. But so during the night, I would sneak out of the house and go yeah. hang out with my friends. I'm like, you better not tell on me. Yeah. No, you would make me, me, you would roll the car roll out of the, the driveway. I had to driveway. wait till the lights would go on and like wave to you <laughs> out my window. Make sure you got out okay. In our you Astro, and Harry. Our yeah. Astro van. Yeah. The Astro I mean, van. When Reality Hits is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store, which I love, and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. Now, I use this stuff every week. It's really, really easy. Obviously, having a family and always on the go, these meals are just delicious. You can make them in minutes. Our recommendations are the meatloaf. I love the meatloaf. Meatloaf a la mom with potato wedges, broccoli, and gravy, and the honey miso sweet potato shroom jumble over lime rice with zucchini and creamy chili sauce. Dig into their biggest menu yet with over 45 dinner options to choose from. Just choose your meals and select any delivery date. HelloFresh handles the meal planning and the shopping. I mean, it really takes all the work out of it. If you love a sit-down family meal, check out the quick, easy meals, including their 15-minute recipes designed to help you minimize mealtime and stress. Or check out their health-forward options like over 30 calorie-smart and protein-smart recipes each week. Go to HelloFresh.com slash RealityHitsFree and use code RealityHitsFree for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash RealityHitsFree with code RealityHitsFree. This podcast is presented by NYX Cosmetics Pro Fix Stick Concealers. I love these so much. This brand is absolutely amazing. It is affordable and everything works just like the really expensive stuff. I mean, it covers everything, any blemish, under eye circles, anything. I mean, I love them. I keep them in my makeup box and my purse every single day. They're amazing. You guys will love them. NYX Cosmetics Pro Fix Sticks Concealers are super affordable at only $9. You can get three shades for less than the price of a more expensive one. The concealer comes in 24 pro shades to correct, conceal, and brighten. The color correcting is made with six color correctors for all skin tones and 18 complexion shades to conceal and brighten like a pro. It covers up dark circles, redness, hyperpigmentation, discoloration, and more. You can keep it in your purse for a quick touch-up while you're on the go, and when it's on, it's on for 12 hours. The stuff really lasts and it really works. Just twist it up, pop it on, blend it with a brush or finger and then it's done. It's quick, convenient, and super pigmented. It's like waving a magic wand. Plus, you can build this up and it doesn't cake up on your face. It looks like a natural, flawless finish, which we love. Get your NYX Cosmetics Pro Fix Stick Concealers at your favorite makeup retailer. When Reality Hits is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Most of you listening right now are probably multitasking. Yep, while you're listening to us talk, you're probably also driving, cleaning, exercising, or maybe even grocery shopping. But if you're not in some kind of moving vehicle, there's something else you can be doing right now. Getting an auto quote from Progressive Insurance. It's easy and you could save money by doing it right from your phone. Drivers who save by switching to Progressive save nearly $750 dollars on average and auto customers qualify for an average of seven discounts. Discounts for having multiple vehicles on your policy, being a homeowner, and more. So just like your favorite podcast, Progressive will be with you 24-7, 365 days a year, so you're protected no matter what. Multitask right now. Quote your car insurance at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates. National average 12-month savings of $744 by new customers surveyed who saved with Progressive between June 2022 and May 2023. Potential savings will vary. Discounts not available in all states and situations.
I'm enjoying this so much because as his wife, he still does these things. Yeah, because he's like a child. <laughs> Not the sneaking out, uh, rolling away in an yeah. Astro van, but um, a lot keeping of Keeping a secret. When yeah. you want, and and the, a secret. the truth is, when I when he tells me something now, I just go to Brittany and say, is this true? Yeah. Like, on the side. Like, <laughs> you know hey, you're going to get the real deal with me. No, Yeah, I for sure. By the way, I had a lot of friends my senior year of high school. I mean, you did your senior, my senior year, year. Because you beefed up and started taking creatine. Because you was really <laughs> skinny. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was like... <laughs> really skinny and scrawny. You, you late bloomer. I was taller I than was you at one bloomer. point. I was like, a, was I was like a girl. I was like that movie. Was it Can't Hardly Wait? Maybe. Or, yeah, maybe. Like, like, I don't remember. But whatever like, when it became cool my senior year. Yeah, because yeah. I started and working out. that's why out. I think you were so mean. Because like, even at the bus stop, remember you had everybody singing that song? What was it? Jenny's got, Jenny's got a, a gun. gun. Well, no. Oh, I think, that was the worst. I and everybody, and he was, Jenny's got a gun. Now you better run, run away. So everybody would run away from me at the, at the, Yes. Everybody would run away from me at the nobody wanted to be my friend. And I was I was, I was so mean. I'm normally tall. Like I shot up super fast. And so like I was already paranoid about that. Like, oh my God, I'm so tall. Like, yeah. It oh wasn't my nice. goodness. Yeah. Well, I've even told Jackson a million times, like, I, I'm glad that I met him whenever I did, because I would not have been attracted to him whenever he was yeah. like he was so skinny and little. Oh, he was so scrawny. <laughs> so he started taking creatine and then he wore started wearing his chain necklace and thought he was cool, you know. Well then I started yeah. modeling my senior year. Too. Yeah, that, you did. that just started yeah. modeling too. And yeah. that was, it was kind of like a catch 22 a little bit because it was always bittersweet. I mean, yeah. because it was fun, but it was also, man, I, no, I got started like modeling my junior yeah. year. And then the senior guys would get, I remember, oh God, it was brutal. Yeah. I was getting my picture taken for a living. And it was just, it wasn't good to be in school when you're doing that in the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> well, mom would take us to those like weird things, like, and try to get us to be models and stuff. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've did many mall uh, modeling appearances. Did you? And stuff. Oh yeah. yeah, my mom took me oh, all yeah, over that's the place. When you start, him, he started doing the Abercrombie thing, right? When you were in high yeah, school. Yeah. yeah. I think my first modeling job was Kmart. I think it was it was Kmart. Oh, it was yeah. my first first job. And then I was realizing. And then like, he like I, changed his name, and I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, how do you feel that he goes by Jax Taylor? At first, I was just like. This is weird. Like, where did you <laughs> first? Where did you come up with this name? I mean, I know Taylor is my mom's maiden name, and yeah. it was our dog's name that he told me. Um, didn't just run away that I got hit by a car <laughs> when my parents told me it just ran away. <laughs> but um, so then he used that, and I was just like, "Oh my god, I can't call you that." I I sometimes I do, but it, every time it comes out, it just doesn't sound right, I'm, which is completely normal. Yeah, like, I, mean, I go by Jay or Jason, which is fine, and yeah. like Brittany's fine with it, so it's yeah. cool. You know, like she <laughs> oh understands what I'm saying. Yes. Like you know, the only reason I call him Jax is because that's, that's how you met him. Yeah, to me as and yeah, whenever yeah. I met him in Vegas, that's. What how what he told me his name was. Yeah. So for me, it would be weird to start calling him Jackson all of a sudden. And the only Jacks at that point was Jackson General Hospital. Is that where you got it? No, my mom I can't so remember. It was <laughs> I don't honestly but now remember. It's super popular that yeah. name. Yeah. You know, all I did was remove an uh, an S from an and yeah, that's to an true. X. I that's didn't true. go it's to that similar. drastic. Yeah. It was, I think I think the girlfriend that I was dating at the time kind of helped with it. And this is like I said, in, yeah. I say this was in two thousand. You were back with Ford models. <laughs> yeah, this is when I was with Ford Models. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was just everybody changed the name. It wasn't yeah. just me. I mean, no, if you yeah. go look at yeah. Johnny Depp, Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt. That's not their real names. Yeah. So everybody did it. And by the way, I, nothing you against don't have to my stick name. Lala Kent. Lala Kent. <laughs> you know, um, I, it's it wasn't that I, I'm proud of my name, Jason Couchy, but for the entertainment industry, it just didn't flow, flow right. Yeah. yeah. So it is um, a weird last name. It is not a weird. It's Maltese. We well, love it. And yeah, my son's last it. name is. And it's actually pronounced Kauki, not Kauchi. Yeah. I learned when I went to Malta. Yeah, Jenny went to Malta. Wait, are we supposed to say Kauki? It's Kauki. Okay, but if we're, people say Kauki. No, we're saying, we're saying I like Kauchi's better. <laughs> yeah. But that's, cause that's, yeah, it's Kauki. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, we're not doing that. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're not doing that. Do we have it's any American- more things to say negatively about Jax Taylor? Honey, it's just because she's your sister negative. and it's just funny to talk about people, the way you were as a brother. Yeah, and like, yeah, it's, that's how it is. You know, you woke me up early on Christmas <laughs> and even though I did not want to get up, made I- me go through my stocking, made me go try to wake our parents up so I'd get yelled at. He'd send me down the hallway. <laughs> but, you know, Honey, that's, that's the life of a little sister. And then my husband has to pay for it now because I'm constantly scared because <laughs> even riding bikes, he would try to run me over. Oh I think he wanted to do something fun. Like, let's go for a bike ride. Oh, you want to hang out with me? Because he was like the older brother. Let me ask you this just to change something a little bit. Mm-hmm. What do you think about the Valley? Are you excited about it? Yeah, do you I'm think it's cool? For you. Are you yeah. excited for Brittany and I? How yeah, do you feel I'm about it? I'm always excited for you guys. I think you guys are great. You, you make an appearance on it. I do make an appearance you on it. You make an appearance yep. on it. We have a nice little heart to heart. Um, yeah. She came to the bar. Did we, I, did we and mind you, before? my brother and I were not always close. You know, we've had our times where we probably haven't talked for like a year or anything like that. But, you know, you grow up and now we text like almost every day. So 
Yeah. And Jenny Jenny was and Patrick, her husband's name is Patrick. Jenny and Patrick were monumental to helping us get the bar open in time for like the finale for the valley. Like I could not have done that succulent wall without Jenny. We went to Home Depot a million times. Yes, we, we did. separated. Me and Jenny went and did our thing with the flowers and the trees. The guys went and did their well, Patrick went and did the construction stuff while Jack's <laughs> walked around in circles on his phone. <laughs> But um, it was easier that way because things can get a little frustrating. And me and Jenny just had a blast because, you know, it was yeah. fun. We got to go to some random places to find different succulents. Oh, and I'm, I'm so yeah. appreciative of you guys. And it's like, it means a lot to me that you guys were a part of my, yeah, my we success. So happy and, I, and we I, didn't know we were going to be that big of a part, which was awesome too. You know, yeah. like it was so fun. Yeah. We had to get that bar set up really, really quick for, for many different reasons. But we're just so thankful that you guys were there. I would not have my, my special frame if it wasn't for Patrick putting that up and it's an iconic piece when you come into the bar. If you guys do ever come to the bar, it says uh, just one more. And that frame was put together by by Patrick, and he did an amazing job. And obviously, Jenny and uh, Brittany did an amazing job on the succulents wall. So when you come in, come in and see it, so make sure you take your picture It was a next lot of work. We were a lot up and down. Uh, and, we, yeah, it was, like, all over the place. And then we got all those birds of paradise. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, we, we, we did. Every, we, we did. We, we saw out, a hummingbird Jenny. the one day. Yes. I mean, we were back and forth. Back, and we, we loaded the trucks. We loaded everything ourselves. I they for, did not help. They, yeah, yeah, we, we did everything. We, did we were all. strong ass yeah, women. We and were. we got it done. Mm -hmm. And I would not have been able to do it without you. So I love you. And we had no idea what we were doing. Yeah. Which is a vision. <laughs> just a vision. Just Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> just, just some Instagram uh, screenshots of what I wanted it to look right. like. <laughs> now do this. <laughs> but it, it was awesome, and we're so grateful for you guys. Okay, so, Jenny, I want to know what it was like for you when Jax became, like, a reality TV star, like, in the very, very beginning days of Vanderpump Rules. Yeah, so um, – I for sure did not believe it. Like, obviously, <laughs> I've known my brother, you know, going in and out of things and traveling for modeling and doing this. And, oh, I'm going to be in this and I'm going to be in that. And then I would, like, wait till it came out until I believed it. But um, when he did first tell me about the show, we were in Florida. We're at my parents' house and we were on the lanai. And this is when you were dating Stacy or Stacy, Stassi. <laughs> Uh, they told us they were going to be on a show and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. But the fact that he had, like, a girlfriend with him telling him that, I was like, okay, maybe this is real. So then when it finally came out, um, I started watching it and I was sad because obviously I had built a relationship with Stassi at that point and they were like breaking up and it was tumultuous and like pretty much every girlfriend has called me when something bad happens in my brother's life and like whether I know them or not. Like I, I do would, it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like it's different. I mean, obviously I love yeah. Brittany, but there would be these randoms and I'm like, who is calling me now? And I would have to talk them off the ledge. And I'm like, oh my god! It's it was it's a tough industry to be in. I don't know if you, people have never been out to California. Like you get promised the world, and there's so many letdowns. Like 95 percent of living in LA is rejection. It's rejection, and you get so excited, and you get so close, and you don't want to say too much, and you're like, you get a job, and you're like, okay, you got the job, and then the next day they'll call you like, oh, they released you, or oh, they released you. And I, I have the type of personality where like someone told me I got something, I'm like, oh my god, I can't wait to call my mom and dad or my family, and I got this, and then they would call and change their mind, and I. I never just I could never keep my mouth shut about it. I couldn't just keep it in because I was always so excited and it's so hard to get projects out here. So, you know, yeah, I would always jump the gun and tell my family things. And the next thing you know, you're like, oh, my God, they released you from this. You're like, Jesus, I just told everybody. And it's, it was awful. Yeah, it but at least awful. this one took off and it was yeah, amazing. It was really and, awful. you know, I would watch it. And then there was a point where I'm like, OK, I can't watch this anymore because I don't want to watch my brother doing this or that or whatever. I, this is too much for a sister to know. Yeah. And then it was got to the point where I was like, you know, then the public gets involved and they start trashing because obviously you were a villain. Yep. And so then, you know, I know he's a villain in my heart sometimes, but <laughs> I also know my brother at a different side and I don't, and anybody else that wants to talk shit about my brother, it's a little harder. I can talk all the shit I want because I know him, but I feel the same way, girl. Yeah. You get super defensive and I it cannot deal with me. that. No, I know it doesn't bother you, but I don't you. have as thick a skin. Me and Jenny it makes have me a sad. lot of the same kind of personality to where we overthink a yes, lot overthink. and we are more like, sentimental emotion like yeah we get emotionally know. invested in yes, these things exactly that being said what did you think of house of villains were you when I mean, you watched it did you think when I, I was well, treated okay on that oh show? house of villains actually loved that like because i was excited to see you in a different role and like you know um I was, obviously like, you had I told me my, about it i left my heart on my sleeve on that no you it, did you I were be honest 
you were like the odd man out because everyone else no. had been on this kind of show and you were like so it was really fun to watch they like, wanted me out before i walked in the door yeah but like, you you were trying to make like buddies and friends and, and you were like t- like really like investing in people like hey I this know. is my story I, I like you like not building alliances no. not whatever which was which was good though i think that was great for well, you You were like i played it all wrong but no it, like you were being you well everybody told me before i got on the show and my managers my friends jacks this is not a docuseries this is not what you're normally used to you right. need to do your homework you need to watch real world you need to watch the challenge you need to watch big brother they right. build alliances and all this and i'm like yeah but you're used that. to just like Speaking just, your mind, doing yeah. what you want, opening your mouth, and that's why people love you. You know, like that's or why you're me. successful. Yeah, or hate you, but it makes for good TV. And so, like, this was a different side of you. Like, you like felt for you. And then, like, when what's her name? I don't remember called you that thing. I was New like, York. oh my god, New she York. Didn't just say and, that. and like, I was like, <gasps> I thought she was talking to Corinne because they had showed them like an argument yeah. earlier that day. And then I realized she was talking to Jax. And I, I, know, I like, was what like, what did you do that we didn't see? I know. That was and so I, weird. I had such a heart to heart with her in the beginning, and we had such a good well, time. Yeah, it's and like then you got even, backstabbed, and you're not used to that. No, like, and, and then I went. Were we went. <laughs> We went to the premiere party and I was there and I and she's like, oh, hey, Jax, how are you? And I'm like, she's like, you know, I didn't. I, she goes, that's just my character. And I'm, I'm just I'm not familiar with New York. That was a little bit before my time, before sure. my reality time. Oh, I loved New York. Yeah. I loved her on uh, what was the show that she was on? Flavor of Love. I love that. It, and before Jax went on the House of Villains, I was like, I hope New York is on there. I hope Tiffany's on there. Yeah. And it turned out she was. So she was the only person that I guess that was on there. And I, at the end of the day, it's a game. Everybody yeah. no, has no, no, to get it is a off. game, but you were you weren't going in there. I mean, I obviously people told you, but like that was not your mindset. You were there to like have fun and whatever. Yeah. yeah. And, I was not gonna yeah, build But alliances. I enjoyed seeing that side of you. I think like you were upset about it, but I thought it was a great thing. I don't know if you did, Brittany, but like to me I was like, oh see, they get to see the softer side and like you actually get to feel bad for you because you are a human being that like has feelings. But yeah, so no, I really liked you on that show. I, I and everybody I told to watch, which a lot of people, they were like so bummed to see you go. They're like, why yes. did he go? Why did he go? And I'm like, well, I think he's gonna be back on. Maybe okay, or not. I still got paid. No, I know. <laughs> but no, he was, got back been on. Fun to see you, like, because you were a good competitor. I mean, obviously you have a competitive nature. Yeah, but you know, what? it was good. And this goes to one of the questions that people were asking me, Jax. Do you plan on going to, on any other shows such as Traders or Summer House or Winter House? And uh, that being said, yes, I, I'm open to all those shows. Um, now that we're kind of doing crossovers, like I've noticed a lot of people doing crossovers on these shows. Yeah, I'm down for it all. So definitely nothing is is out of the books. Uh, I think for Brittany, goes, that goes for you too. Like if you were asked to go on any shows, you would do them as well, yeah? I mean, yeah, I think it'd be a fun experience. I mean, yeah. I couldn't, I never even imagined I'd be living in LA at like, let alone doing all these shows and stuff, you for know? Sure. So I think it's all, I'm going to take everything as it comes my yeah. way, you know? And, and that's live your out personality. All the that's what you do. You're like, nothing phases Brittany. It's just like, okay, yeah. And she's always in a good mood. And that's why it's so great to be around her because <laughs> oh, she'll put you. you in a good mood even when if you're not oh yeah i think yeah me and jenny have gone along from the start do whenever you first met me did you think that me and Jax would like get end up getting married and stuff be real no, i don't so, care <laughs> i was a little nervous because obviously i've met a couple girlfriends of my brothers um and like you never know what you're gonna get so <laughs> but my dad had met Brittany first and like I, I was like what is she like and i was going to meet them in florida so I, and he was like um, you're going to love her. I still had that yeah. text message. So I knew if my dad okayed it, you know, we were pretty honest with each other. I was like, okay, I was excited to meet her. And no, I think we got along from the start. We and did. like, you were we super talked sweet. about uh, R&B and hip hop. Oh, yeah. We did share we our love bonded. for R&B and hip hop. Um, <laughs> we'll just leave it there. Nelly, you know, all those. We have been to Nelly for like first row. It was amazing. Yes, TLC. Um, yeah, we always have a good time when we're together. So that's the best part. Yeah. Um, I loved meeting you, and I'm so glad. Yeah, that we I was got super so happy, and like the way that you guys got along, and you like the same things, and you laugh at our stupid humor because yeah. not even my husband like does not get our humor, and he'll be like, <laughs> he'll say like, "Part of my language, you're just jacks with tits," and I'm like, "No, I'm not," but because it's like he always says that, but like That's hilarious. because we, he always says it's like you're every time after I leave, I'm just I just realize I'm married with jacks with tits, and I was like, okay, because we have a very weird, um, a lot of inside jokes and a lot of humor, but like. And we like even the stupid songs that we sing to Britney and then she laughs and then me and Jason laugh even louder because other people are, other people are like, humor. what? 
And then like, we have such a weird humor, we uh, Jenny weird... and I, and we're very nostalgic. And then we just we like a lot of certain things that nobody else gets because or from we our just, childhood. We just we bring up a lot of stuff from our childhood. When Jenny and I text, we usually just it, nobody would. You can't decrypt. Is no, that the word? is that the word I'm using? Encrypt, decrypt, encrypt yeah. decrypt. You can't. If you were to look at my text thread with Jenny, people are like, what are they? It'll talking be some about? like random quote. It would be. It's basically random quotes from our childhood, and that's basically how we communicate. And it, that's why when she says we talk every day, we do because I'll just give her. I'll throw a random quote that come into my head, and or she'll throw a random. Sort of quote. Meme. And it's just funny, and like that's we've how we told Brittany that our mom used to feed us hot dog flavored water, <laughs> and like yes. it was like the longest going joke. And yeah. she was like, "Uh, uh-uh. uh," like she didn't believe. And we told Patrick too, like we would, we like all of a sudden I'll just start it, and he'll just finish it, and we're like, "Yeah." And then they'll like act like it's a real true story, <laughs> and we're like, "Don't make fun of us." For yeah, it. it's you like, know, it's not our stupid. fault. Yeah, it's not it's our, our fault. We our... drink, and I would be like, "Are you going to feed Cruz that?" And she'll be like, "No, Jenny, I am not doing that." <laughs> Cruz is not getting boiled hot dog water. <laughs> And somebody might not think that's funny, but we I just think we're due it. for shot for a shot. I think <laughs> we are due for a shot. Again, reminding everybody, it is Jenny's 40th birthday Yay. today. Yay. Did we talk about what we're up doing? We're going. Oh, yeah. We're going tonight. We got trivia at Jax's tonight. We might stop by there. Uh, we have dinner at either Granville or Bacari. Either, either Granville or Bacari. Little Cruz wants to join and say happy birthday. And then tomorrow we have Jenny's 40th birthday at Jax's at 8:30. Uh, it is open to the public. We're very excited to. To have all her friends here, all my friends here, all, all Jenny's LA friends will be yeah. there. And we're going to bring in your 40th in like, style. And then dad obviously will be there. Yeah. In, I'm wearing my dad shirt right now. Hurt. And all my friends surprised me and are coming out and flew from Michigan, flew yeah. from South Dakota, from Utah. Yeah. So it's awesome. You made so it very to 40. Loved. You made it, I to, made it 40. to 40. The big four zero. Hopefully, uh, yes. this is the best decade yet. Let's... Well, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. And we love you so much, Jenny. Thanks and for coming on. I love you guys. On. Thank you for doing this for me, you guys. And I love you all. And your stories about Jax. I no think other people are going to love this episode. No other people I'd rather turn 40 with than my little cruisy Woo-hoo! and my brother and my sister-in-law and all my bestest friends. We love you. To anybody for your 40th birthday? Oh, I want to shout out to all my friends, especially my best friend Megan and my husband Patrick for, you know, helping get this all together. Yes. And my friends Ashley and Roberto and Lauren, who are they're all here. So it's going to be great. Aaron Hatline. Go, yeah. go Lions. Go Lions. <laughs> all right. Everybody get excited for the Thank Valley. You. We're so excited for you all to see it. We love you. And we will talk to you next week on Win Reality Hits with Jackson Brittany. Bye, guys.